So you're a studious person who's watched every episode of Android Performance Patterns. Okay, not everyone. Colt does a lot of videos and usually just says things like, don't use up too much battery, make efficient HTTP requests, enums are like gremlins, you know, all that normal perf stuff. So by now you know that you don't want a bloated APK. You don't just let unneeded resources sit around in your build. But despite knowing this, you may still have a bloated APK. So how's that even possible? I'm David East, and just because you're being frugal with your resources doesn't mean that the libraries you've included will do the same. Take this common scenario. You're using the Google Play Services library to build an app that just uses a single API like Maps, but your code is not using any of the login functionality. Well, the library still includes all the assets and layouts that allow someone to log in. Even though you may like the way this button looks, you don't need the resource in your APK. Since you can't manually purge this resource, it gets included in your final package application. And it's stuff like this that leads to bloated APKs. Well, we have the Gradle toolchain, and it's here to help. Gradle can statically analyze all of your code to find the assets that aren't being referenced, and then automatically pull them out of your build. And the party doesn't just stop there. Gradle will also go through and analyze strings in your code for cases where you're doing things like constructing a path name at runtime, and scrape through your assets folder, opening up text, CSS, and JavaScript files to check there as well. To get this started, just enable the shrink resources flag in your Gradle config. You also need to set minify enabled. This will turn on ProGuard, which just removes code from linked libraries that your app isn't using. Know though that this needs to be done first. Otherwise, Gradle gets super confused because it still thinks that there's paths referencing assets. Once you've done this though, our earlier scenario is looking a lot better. After Google Play Services is linked in, Gradle sees that no paths used to the login resources and exclude it from your APK, which is exactly what we wanted. A little bit of a warning though, there might be some false positives or false negatives. You might find that some of your assets are getting cut when you wanted them kept, and some of them are getting kept when you wanted them cut. We can fix this though with the tools keep and the tools discard attributes to set up the desired behavior. But before you get all resource cutting crazy, it's important to understand that Gradle has its limitations. Gradle won't ditch your resolution folders or multiple language folders. These may be needed at runtime, and the compiler can't really know ahead of time what the end user is going to need. So managing your resources requires some extra work on your part, but it's a big performance game for the user. And experiences for the user is what performance is all about. Find out, by, find out more by watching the rest of Android Performance Patterns content, aka The Cult Show, and don't forget to join our Google Plus community for other great content as well. So sweat the small stuff, but don't freak out. And remember, that perf matters.